Greetings, my noble knights. It is I, Blaze Templar. And, um, apparently... Something happened. Uh, oh. Uh... Okay. I thought I had that fixed, but you know, apparently not. Um, well, if I can't do that, uh, it gets tail glow. Why didn't I know that? Um, well, that changes my set a little bit. Just slap Thunderwave on for a potential. Uh, okay, that was... I didn't realize that. Zerkatry kind of threw me for a loop. <laughs> well, a uh, challenge has been sent, and we'll see if the DBL monotype goes in my favor. Let's rock. Um, maybe? Yeah, he's still here, so... You know, I just have to wait on him right now. <sighs> and this is video three I am doing right now, so yay me. I'm kind of pleased with that. Um, just waiting along now, you know. And kind of wishing I had gotten a bigger lunch, but, you know, can't really do much about that. Ah, uh, that explains it. I forgot about Mega Pidgeot not being released yet. And it was the dumbest thing. It was a hidden power I couldn't have. Why? Oh, whatever. But, you know, that's kind of how it goes, unfortunately. Um, that does mean I don't have to worry about any flying-type shenanigans. I didn't really think he would want to bring, like, a flying-type because I'm electric. Um, but, you know, maybe he doesn't remember I'm an electric um, trainer this time around. And I chose electric because I really don't use electric types that much. Um, and this will kind of get me using some electric types I haven't used in a long time or haven't used at all. And I can't complain too much about that. Electric, uh, it's just a type I, I kind of like, but not enough that I consistently use it. Um, it's not like steel where it's like, oh, this is my go-to type. First and foremost, I'm always thinking about steel types um, with dark types being pretty high on the priorities list. Fairy types, not really too much. Um, flying types I actually use quite a bit. I like flying types like Star Raptor and um, Noivern. Definitely like Noivern. Um, so, yeah, electric doesn't get the love it should. And I even use grass types more than I use electric types, just to give you an idea, which is kind of sad. Um, oh, okay. Uh, accepting. All right, let's rock. Oh, Pyroar. Um, oh, he's got an interesting team. Uh, that uh, P2 could be a problem, uh, but I think I'm okay. Um, considering what he's got, I think our best lead is, in fact, the uh, Electros, just because if he wants to uh, copy me, that's fine. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> so, right. Uh, what did I decide on again? I think I decided on the Electros lead, because then I can just go straight to Rotom if he wants to copy that. Otherwise, I can cause shenanigans. Um, 
Actually, Luxray does all right, too. I kind of like that idea. Um, we're going to lead Luxray. We can just go for a safe superpower against a couple of his mons if he wants to go for his... Oh. This I'm okay with. We're just going to smash home with the superpower. Um, we do have the impressive attack stat. Um, and he does transform. That's fine. We're going to see what he wants to lock himself into. And that actually was a good play, bringing the ditto. Um, I do like that. That was pretty cool. But um, superpower will give us a nice amount of coverage, and it hits his entire team pretty hard, so really want to keep him around. Oh, he's pulling the protect shenanigans. Okay. And he has scarfed, it looks like. So um, I think we just go for another superpower, maybe? Maybe, maybe, or maybe I switch. Um, yeah, I think I switch into Rotom, because even if he wants to go for an attack, that's fine. And we're going to give you a Scarf, I think. No more bulk for you! <laughs> and we're gonna paint split back up. Uh, that actually worked out okay for me. I kinda like that. Uh, 197 is probably my best special defense stat. Um, we're going to coil here. One more coil. Actually... I think I'm going to just go straight for the Drain Punch, predicting the switch. Nope, no switch. That's fine. Down goes Ditto. His biggest threat to my team is now gone. Um, and he's choice locked on his Porygon too, which is amazing. I'm so glad I had Trick. Uh, really, really did pay off in a big, big way having Trick. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, I need to keep this thing around until I get rid of a Exploud, Pyroard, and Pyroar. Um, Heliolisk isn't too big of a deal, but there's the Exploud. It has 258 speed. I don't have anything that really takes Exploud on except Rotom. Um, we're going to hard switch right into Rotom. I need to keep Electros around. That's an Ice Beam. That was a prediction on his part. Um... I think we go to Galvantula. We're going to get the sticky webs up here. I really want to get those webs up as it will put a lot of work in against his team. Sure, his Pokemon aren't too fast, but he has a couple of quick ones that I do want to get sticky webbed. Um, possibly Scarf Exploud. That's one of them. Um, that's actually one of the bigger ones, honestly. Um, and we're going to Volt Switch out. And we're going to go into Luxray so we can get a potential Toxic on us. Uh, the rocks are a little annoying, but not too bad of an issue. Um, at this point, we can just go for the safe superpower. Nothing on his team appreciates superpowers. And so, yeah, I can just spam the superpowers. Sure, I have to switch out, but I don't really care, honestly. I don't mind having to switch. And, uh, sure, I may have to sacrifice something later, but Luxray, really, with that superpower, is putting in a lot of work, and I can go for the protection and against. Um, I have Facade, just in case he does have the inkling of Toxic in me. I don't think he'll want to, because he knows I have Guts, but, you know, it's a thing. 
Luxray really puts in a lot of work here. So, yeah. And uh, despite the fact Rotom, wa uh, Rotom went down without taking any knockouts, it did get rid of that Aviolite, which is actually crucial. Crucial, crucial, crucial. And with the Stealth Rock, or with the Sticky Web up, it's at normal speed, so it's pretty easy to manage. You're going to go down. Oh, you didn't go down. Okay. Hmm. I'm actually impressed. That honestly surprised me more in a little bit. Unfortunately, that means I can't actually take this thing out in one hit. Um, it is really way more bulky than I anticipated. But that's fine. Uh, so we will go ahead and... Uh, coil here, maybe? Or do we just go straight for the Drain Punch? I think we just go straight for a Drain Punch. Um, then we can rest off damage. If need be. Um, Porygon 2 comes in. It's going to get its speed dropped. It's tracing my Levitate. That's fine. I'll Drain Punch it, get some health back. Um... And I think I'm just going to Drain Punch again. It's at neutral speed. Um, the best thing he can probably go for is Try Attack, but I don't think he'll have Ice Beam and Try Attack. Oh, he's going to lock himself into Recover. That is actually nice for me. Uh, so we're going to Coil here. <laughs> I think he forgot I stole his Violite. <laughs> I think he forgot that. We're going to coil again. Have no reason not to coil twice. And now we can go for a third coil. Is it a little greedy? Maybe, but it'll let me get a lot of health back once I go for that drain punch, which I'm going to do right now. Boom. We're back up to full. Oh, that is delicious. And now the biggest problem for me to deal with is gone. Um, I like that. I like that. Pyroar is going to come in. It's going to nerve me, but it's sticky webbed. So I can just go for a drain punch. I have enough natural defensive bulk. I think I can take anything it wants to go for. It can't earthquake for the obvious reason I'm levitating. Um, unfortunately, I can't eat any... <gasps> that was a crit! No, not the crits, not the crits. That is awful. <laughs> no. Oh, that is horrible. We can just go for Brick Break. We naturally outspeed, um, and we can deal with this thing. Brick Break, no problem. As long as we outspeed, which we should. <laughs> Pikachu, doing work. Thankfully, I can't be paralyzed, otherwise, I'd be a little worried. <laughs> Hallelujah, this is amazing though. Pikachu really just cleaning up house. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so embittering though. I could have 5 0'd. If I was real, I'd go for the Volt Tackle, but I'm not real enough. I'm not real enough to Volt Tackle. <laughs> Mm 
Nice! He survived that! That is actually impressive! GG. So, 4 0. It was a good game. It was. Um, people think that it only has phys or special attackers, but yeah, obviously it doesn't. Uh, copy link address for later. Um, that was a fun game. It's unfortunate that we got critted, but you know what? It's me, and I've been getting critted all the time lately. Still winning, though, so I guess I can't complain too much. Anyway, um, that was a good first match. It's really a nice way to get things back on track. When it comes to the DBL, it kind of felt like I had a curse there. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next battles. Later.